It's a cold day in NYC, but that is okay, as this Saturday, East Coast Professional Wrestling is bringing the heat as they present Callous Wrestling, hashtag Ewing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday, January 15th, live from the Muse, 350 Muffet Street in Brooklyn, NYC. Callous Wrestling returns to Brooklyn as they bring the historic event that will be Ewing live to all of you. And how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Raymond Sanchez. I represent the Respect the Craft Wrestling Podcast, a podcast that looks to honor the craft that's professional wrestling. And this is my indie perspective. The indie perspective, we're going to honor those great brands of independent wrestling that are currently blooming and growing. And it's a booming era right now in independent wrestling. So we have to talk about Callous Pro Wrestling here. So let us talk all things Callous right now as we are going to talk about Ewing. And we're kicking it off with a man that is no stranger to the independent circuit. He is 27 years in the game. H.C. Loke, as he will be celebrating those 27 years this Saturday night. But a man that looks to stop that celebration for H.C. is none other than the big, bad kaiju himself, O'Shea Edwards. This is going to be a Bushwick brawl, ladies and gentlemen. So this is not going to be for the faint of heart. But definitely, we are going to show you, though, some a little bit of a highlight of H.C. Low just to show you how he's gotten ready for a match just like this. We'll be right back. And there you go. So again, H.C. Loke, no stranger to monsters, no fear in those eyes. So this Saturday, will H.C. Loke be able to pull off this Bushwick brawl or will the big bad kaiju reign on the Veterans Parade? We'll have to wait and see this Saturday night at Ewing. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get your tickets, you can do so right now. Tinyurl.com forward slash Ewing NYC. Once again, that is tinyurl.com forward slash Ewing NYC. Tickets starting at the low, low, low price of just $25. Ladies and gentlemen, it's kicking off the year hot. Also, for the event, let's talk about someone special in attendance that night as he'll be doing a signing and a meet and greet as you get a chance to meet the Dirty Daddy himself, Chris Dickinson. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Ring of Honor star, current New Japan star as well. Chris Dickinson will be in the building. Go get your autographs, your meet and greets, as all funds will be going toward the recovery of current injured Chris Dickinson. We wish Chris Dickinson well in his recovery. And again, come out Saturday. It's going to be a great event. And you get to meet a independent standout like Chris Dickinson. Then next up, we are going to talk about a three-way dance. A triple threat match that is, might be able to steal the show here at Ewing. As it will be KTB, Colossal, Mike Law, and then NCAA standout. Ray Jazz. Let's talk a little bit about Ray Jazz as in his first night in Kala's wrestling was able to shock the world here with this. We'll be right back. Yes, you saw that, ladies and gentlemen. On his very first match here in Cala's Wrestling, Ray Jazz able to defeat Casey Navarro. Casey Navarro, the very first Triple Crown Champion 
in Cal is wrestling, and Ray Jazz was able to outsmart not only him, but the formerly known as Hot Boys International in one night. Imagine what he's going to be able to do this Saturday night in Ewing against a veteran like Mike Law and KTB. Will the odds be in his favor, or will he fall to the man that looks to take out puny humans, KTB? Or to the colossal Mike Law, who's still, he's having that little bit of a chip on his shoulder. So let us see if maybe this is the year for Mike Law. But we'll find out this Saturday night. Next up, we're going to talk about some six-man tag team action as it's going to be a war as it will be the team selected by the one above all Anthony Gangone after speaking with Callis Wrestling's board of directors, a representative of the board of directors. It will be the rep, Dave McCall, Nate Wallace, and Julius Smokes. Yes, the, out, the devil's outlaw himself as they will be taking on the Hudson County Horror Show, as it will be comprised of Devontes, the monster El Cubano, also himself, Lou Bruno, and the, the intern Twitch, as they will be accompanied by Zach Amico. Now, the, my question, though, after seeing what they did at the real deal in the Slam Jam, can this trio here... Can they coexist? Because you can see again, it is a it is a family of it's it's a very uh, how how can we put this? This isn't the most organized family here. They're very um, I don't want to I don't want to say anything that's gonna get me killed on Saturday, but um yeah, it's a little bit of uh, I don't know if they're on the same page. And when you're going against a team of the rep two times. Callis Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Uh, I don't know if they're if they're ready for this on Saturday. But with Zach Amico back in their corner, you gotta think the odds might be in their favor. But you also have Julius Smokes in this matchup, and that is that's an unpredictable element right there. What can the veteran do for the rep that night as well? We'll find out. But let us now talk about some women's action as we are going to have the baddest bitch on the block, Valentina Vasquez, going head-to-head -head with the returning Masha Slamovich. The Russian Dynamite herself returns to Kala's Wrestling as now an Impact Wrestling knockout. Let us see what is going to happen when these two collide this Saturday night, as this is going to be one to keep your eyes on, ladies and gentlemen. Both great independent standouts. Like I mentioned, Masha Slamovich, now a Impact Wrestling knockout as well. She showed off her skills last Thursday night on Impact Wrestling. As you can see, Masha is a hard-hitting striker. Valentina, though, a very psychological competitor. Let us see what is going to happen when these two square off on Saturday night. But next up, we are going to talk about another insane collision as the Callis Wrestling Tag Team Championships are on the line as it will be the team of the Infinite Man, T.I.M. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is T.I.M. I'm not going to do the mistake of calling him Tim here as he'll be teaming up with Ugly Ducklings member Rob Killjoy. Together they comp they combined R2 Infinity and the Pond as they're defending against the returning team of Philly's Most Wanted. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Black G's and the Cambodian... I, I, I'm going to call him a monster here because if you saw that promo they put out, Joker is back, and he's in Brooklyn, ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday night. Philly's Most Wanted is coming to hunt, and I don't know what to say here. Let's show you what happened at the Slam Jam. To show you how To Infinity and Beyond and The Pond are able to do some amazing things, but let's just show you the clip. So that shows you they're able to retain. 
not only did they get one fall that night, they were able to get both falls in order to retain their tag team championships. However, when you're going against a team like Philly's Most Wanted, a cohesive unit, two men that know they're looking to bring pain, they're looking to bring destruction in that ring, and when you have the team of Two Infinity and the Pawn, unfortunately, they're not that much of a cohesive unit. Yes, when, they, when it comes to the in-ring, they're able to come together, but if you're starting to see, unfortunately, you're seeing... Even in their promos, they they don't have it like together. I don't know if it's because the Infinite Man TIM doesn't look to want to be a tag team wrestler, though he stated it. But I feel like it's it's just something else, something there. And when you have Rob Kiljoy, a tag team specialist, though, maybe he's able to do it on his own on Saturday. Who knows? But again, you're going against a team of two independent wrestling veterans, Joker. You have Black G's currently a member of the NWA roster as well. I, I don't know what's going to happen when these two teams square off on Saturday. Could we see new tag team champions? Could we see another shocker just like you saw in that clip? We'll have to wait and see. Again, if that match alone doesn't sell you, I don't know what will, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to keep going because there's a lot more that might catch your eye. And it's definitely going to make you want to come out this Saturday night for Hashtag Ewing. Let's talk about this commentary team for the night, ladies and gentlemen, as Brandon Lewis has bought himself the commentary team. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be presented by 2B Scenes Comic Conversation. It is the Brandon Lewis commentary team. It is going to be comprised of Portia Vaughn. It is going to be comprised of NYC legend, Tri-State legend, Steve Monster Mac, Chris Faga, Stephen James, and again, that man that is celebrating 27 years in this business, H.C. Loke. And of course, you have Brandon Lewis on the call. So imagine that. You have a, you have a, a insane commentary team. Uh, it's it's going to be a great night. And especially for those that are watching the VOD after the fact as well, or those that are watching on YouTube, on Fight TV, on many of the great networks that Kyle's Wrestling is involved in, you're going to get some amazing commentary for the great action that Ewing and Kyle's Wrestling are going to bring to you. But let's keep it going as another championship match. The gold is on fire this Saturday night as the Kyle's Wrestling Freestyle Championship is on the line as Ghost Shadow defends against Weapon X Matt Mikowski. Let's talk about that. Because you have Ghost Shadow, a man that is another tri-state legend. He is a bona fide legend, ladies and gentlemen, going into this on Saturday. And he is going to be joined by none other than Noel. Noel, as you've seen, he's represented Ghost Shadow here and was able to even assist him in his last match. But just to show you some of the destruction the Destroyer God brings to that ring, let's show you some highlights here of not one, but two of his last championship defenses. Look at this here, taking on Hot Fire Myron Reed. As you can see, he got all oh, the guillotine leg drop. That could have been it. And look at that. And... One, two, three, and then against Jordan Oliver. Oh, not the best kick for Jordan Oliver. And then wheelbarrow. Oh, into the snap mirror DDT. And that was it as well. So again, Go Shadow brings the just pure destruction to that ring. However, when you're taking on a man like Weapon X, who is not... I don't even know if you can call him a man. He is a weapon. He is an MMA background competitor. Weapon X Matt Mikowski, who is currently still in a best of five with Devontae's. He's taking a break from that as he wants some gold. He wants that freestyle medallion, that championship that Ghost Shout currently holds around his neck. He wants it to claim because he's a prize fighter, ladies and gentlemen. What is Matt Mikowski going to do? He stated he knows ways to put him in an armbar. Thousands of ways. 
a leg lock, a sleeper, whatever he's going to do. Go Shadow says Matt Bukowski's playing wrestler. What is going to happen when these two finally meet in that professional wrestling ring this Saturday in Brooklyn, New York? Find out, again, this Saturday at The Muse, 350 Muffet Street, Brooklyn, NYC. But that is not all, ladies and gentlemen. This next match, I can't wait to finally get to talk about here. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is a historic bout. It is going to be for the first time in 60 years. Let me repeat that, just so you guys can hear that. 60 years, ladies and gentlemen that the National Wrestling Alliance's 10 pounds of gold returns to Brooklyn, New York, as it will be a tag team grudge match as the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch teams with Brooklyn legend himself, the notorious 187 Homicide, to take on the team of, as well, NWA superstars, Colby Carino and Wrecking Ball Ligurski. Colby Carino and Homicide, two men that know each other very well. That family history of the Carinos versus Homicide has been evident in, in Cavan and Cala's wrestling. Homicide, a man that's championship reign with Colby has been seen, but this match, it has so much at stake here. Again, 60 years since that championship has been brought to Brooklyn. This match will be presented by future legend, Cole Pepper Legal, and as of today, Wrecking Ball Ligurski is being sponsored by the Dirty Heels Podcast. So imagine so much involved in this match. You have, again, the National Wrestling Alliance's Heavyweight champion. You have Homicide on one side of the ring. And then on the other, you have a former Kala's Wrestling heavyweight champion in Colby Carino. You know Colby is coming in this match heated as he feels he was cheated out of his championship at the last show. You have Wrecking Ball Ligurski, who has been not only a heater for Colby Carino in the National Wrestling Alliance, but now we're going to find out as well on Saturday why... The formerly known as Hot Boys International are now aligned with Colby Carino. So, when this match comes together on Saturday, we're not just going to see a tag team matchup. We're going to see a grudge match, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know if we can call this a match. I feel like it's going to be a fight on Saturday night. It's This is a main event. This is a high-quality matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And this is going to be your main event Saturday night. Again, the National Wrestling Alliance's heavyweight champion, Trevor Murdoch, the notorious 1A7 homicide, Colby Carino, and Wrecking Ball Ligurski. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be, again, I, I believe match of the night right there. Definitely come out, 350 Muffet Street, The Muse in Brooklyn, NYC. Get your tickets just starting at $25.00. TinyURL.com forward slash Ewing NYC. But before we wrap this up, we have one more match to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. And it isn't any ordinary match. It is the match as it's the highest prestige in Kala's wrestling as it will be. The Kala's wrestling championship as Darius Carter defends against Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Champion Foundation member Josh The Goods Woods. This match as well is being brought to you by Future Legend. Future Legend, an amazing apparel brand, a brand I truly respect as well as it is. It stands for many values as Respect the Craft does as well. But let's talk about just what this match means. Darius Carter and Josh the Goods Woods have both given their thoughts on this match. They've delivered some insane promos that are showing you just what this means. For Josh Woods, he wants to restore that order in professional wrestling. He wants to bring the professionalism back into pro wrestling 
And he says he needs to win that championship on Saturday because Darius Carter is a man that doesn't deserve to be in that pure division as Darius has rebuttaled that he's been... He's been almost pushed away from the pure wrestling division. That Josh is hiding from Darius Carter. So imagine these two are going to collide on Saturday. It is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, a pure wrestling masterpiece in my opinion. These two are going to want to pick apart a leg, pick apart a shoulder. They're going to go for joints, for tendons, whatever they can get their hands on, ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday I'm telling you, you are not going to want to be late to this show because Darius Carter has insisted this match go on first. He wants to kick off the night and show that that number one match is the main event kicking off the night. So ladies and gentlemen, again, doors open at 5.30. Get there. Because when that bell rings at 6.30 p.m., you are going to want to be in your seat because this match is kicking off the night. Imagine that, your world championship, the Callus championship is on the line again. and But you have to also think, the Carter group around, I, I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know, but ladies and gentlemen, just to show you though, the length Darius Carter is able to go, let's show you how he won that championship. We'll be right back. Their facial expressions say it all. Will that be the result this Saturday night at Hashtag Ewing? Will that be the same? I, I'm not sure, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure what else to say. I'm all, The last thing I could say here is, again, get your tickets right now. Because that is going to be the hottest ticket this winter, ladies and gentlemen. Like, like I said, this is a cold day in NYC currently. It's in the 20s, ladies and gentlemen. Even lower than that. You're not going to want to miss this event on Saturday. Because it's going to feel like a hot summer's day. With amazing action. With a card top, excuse me, top to bottom. Main event quality matches. Top to bottom main event quality, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to want to miss a thing. So come out, NYC, Brooklyn, New York, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be Callis Wrestling Ewing. See you guys there. I have been Raymond Sanchez representing Respect the Craft Podcast, talking about Callis Wrestling. Ewing. See you guys on Saturday. Once again, tinyurl.com forward slash Ewing NYC. Tickets will also be available at the door. Don't forget the address is the Muse 350 Muffet Street, Brooklyn, New York 11237. And I've been Raymond Sanchez letting you all know this is my indie perspective. See you guys. Peace.